I just want to congratulate Shock and his team uh, on a good Big 12 win. Thought they played great tonight, inspired. Uh, also wanted to mention something that's a lot more important in basketball, and that's Andrew's health. And Andrew and I share the same hometown as Irving, Texas, and him and his family have been in our uh, team prayer uh, since this happened. And we just uh, want, want Andrew, if he happens to listen to this, <clears throat> to know that he's got a lot of people in Lubbock, Texas, praying for him. I didn't think it would easy, Brian. We cut it to four or five in the second half. Our guys were playing their asses off. I mean, I mean, I, I, you'd have to ask Shock of that. I didn't think it was easy. I don't think we're an easy team to play against. I, I, I just meant that they struggled a lot against other teams. Yeah, but you said you thought it was easy for Texas tonight. I thought our guys battled. Look, we played a game against Texas. We only had 10 turnovers. Uh, we couldn't make shots tonight. Basketball is a game of making shots. We cut it to, what was Carlos? We cut it to four or five in the second half several times. Uh, a lot of 50-50 balls where our guys were were trying just as hard as their guys, and that's just basketball. They came up with them. Uh, give Shaka credit. Um, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't think it was easy for Texas tonight. I thought it was a night tonight where we had to take a lot of jump shots because Texas was camped out in the lane, and that's the best shots that you get. We played a low turnover game that gave us a chance, uh, but not only did we not hit jump shots tonight, we couldn't get to the free throw line either. Um, so I give Texas defense a lot of credit. Not only were they camped in the lane making us shoot shots, but they wouldn't foul us either um, when we were trying to drive the ball. We sped the game up in the second half and played more of our pace, um, but then just ran out of gas at the end. Um, and again, a lot of key 50-50 balls late in the game where Texas got them and, and give them credit. In basketball, victory favors the team that's more aggressive, and I thought they were more aggressive than us for most of the night. Well, we were expecting Roach. We prepared for him just like he was going to play. Uh, this isn't my first rodeo. Might look like it from time to time when we can't make jump shots, but it's not. Uh, you know, we knew Roach was getting close just based on the date of the injury and, um, you know, just kind of the comments coming out of Texas camp. So um, I thought he played great tonight. That's tough to come back and play that well in your first game. So give him a lot of credit. Um, and I, what was the question? Yeah, sure. He's special. I think uh, it was Bill Self or somebody said he can block the sun. You know, I'll echo that. I think he can block the moon and the sun. Um, not only is he a great shot blocker, he's got great timing. Uh, he doesn't seem to foul much. He's pretty disciplined where he doesn't leave his feet. Um, and then he plays, I think, what underrated defense on the perimeter. We tried to drive him a few times, but he's just so long. Uh, he's a lottery pick for a reason. Yeah, just really good players. Obviously, you're playing those guys to drive, but still they're so quick. And Shaka does a great job spacing it out. Uh, those guys get the ball in the middle of the floor a lot. We like to kind of shea guys right or left. That's difficult to do in the middle of the floor. So I just uh, give Texas a lot of credit, you know. My whole career, I've hated it when coaches get up here and you talk about you didn't play well. I mean, I, you know, let's talk about Texas. Uh, they control the tempo of the game, especially early. They made shots. They got to the free throw line more than us. And they had multiple people step up. If you're going to win a Big 12 game, you got to have two or three people play special. And I thought uh, Dylan, Bamba, uh, and Roach played great tonight. And then their point guard is really, really good. You know, I think he's an all Big 12 player, if not now, one day, because he can really control the ball. And he's a great passer. I thought he let the game come to him. I was really impressed with Texas tonight. Yeah, well, that's Texas's identity. Uh, they're a long team that can really rebound. Uh, and Shaka puts them in great positions. They try to create the tempo. I think we'd like to play at a, probably a faster tempo than they would just based on the two rosters right now. And, um, you know, we just had a hard time speeding it up in the first half. I thought their ball handling was really good in the first half. Second half, we got some things going. But it's a classic game where you just kind of run out of gas. But I, I didn't really think that. I just think, again, there's like three or four pivotal, like loose balls or 50-50 balls when we cut it to four or five. And I think if we get one or two of those, maybe the momentum shifts and we have a chance to win a great road game. But I think the story tonight is you got to give Texas a lot of credit. Um, it's real early in this race, you know. The Big 12 doesn't even start until 
February. Everybody's kind of jockeying for position. And I mean, Texas is right there. They've already run a road game. They've protected their home court. They're starting to get their better players back from injury. Um, we're obviously dealing with a lot of adversity with Zach Smith, uh, but Texas is with Andrew. So this is a good team. I think it's an NCAA tournament team. I think it's a team that's going to be a part of the fight as the weeks go on in the Big 12. Yeah, and I, you know how much respect I have for you, Brian. I'm working on my temper and stuff. No, no, we go a long way back. I, I, res I respect you. Uh, yeah, I mean, but give Texas credit. I, we did not play as well as we want to tonight. We didn't look like the team that we've had, but you give the opponent credit. Uh, they made us shoot jump shots. We couldn't hit shots. Uh, we tried to get to the free throw line more in the second half when the jump shot wasn't going down, and, and Texas does a great job not fouling, and they're so long. Um, so that's a bad combination. You don't hit shots, you can't get the free throw line. Uh, but I, I give our guys a lot of credit too. We stayed in the game by having low turnovers, by being committed to rebounding the ball. Decent tonight, not great, but enough to give us a, give us a chance to win the game. Um, but we got to play a lot better. Uh, but again, give Texas a lot of credit. They played great tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you hear coaches say it's a grind and things like that, but you know, if I say it's a grind, everybody just, you know, just kind of turns their head. But when Bob Huggins and Bill Self and Lon Kruger, when these guys tell you how tough it is, there's just not a bottom half of the league. You know, last year there would be a case to say that maybe we were not a very good team. We were pretty good. We really were. You know, we, we, we were good. Uh, we were not easy to play against last year, but we just weren't ready to win. Um, this year we've kind of taken the next step. Uh, but this league is just, it's brutal, but it's fun. You know, it's like, don't feel sorry for me. You know, I, I've coached in one bid leagues. I've coached uh, games where there's six people at the stands. Uh, I've coached games where uh, the referee, you saw him at the bar the night before, you know. I, so I'm not complaining. To me, this is the biggest stage of basketball, and I'm having the time of my life. Uh, I just wish we would have played better tonight. Uh, but I'm, I'm saying the reason we didn't play well is you got to give Texas a lot of credit. That's a well-coached, good team with several future NBA players.